The Factory Antique Mall, now the largest antique mall in America, with 121,000 square feet of antiques and collectibles and over 200 dealers. A true shopping destination located off exit 227 on I-81 in Verona. FactoryAntiqueMall.com The Valley is filled with incredibly talented musicians. Harrisonburg is an excellent example of this. Here you will find a band with endless talent that isn't afraid to mix genres, with influences ranging from rhythm and blues to zydeco. Their sound has been perhaps best described as original mountain swing. We recently sat down with some of the members of the Judy Chops, one of the Valley's most beloved bands, to discuss their unique sound and latest studio project. Sally called me up and said, Molly, come play music with me in Charlottesville with my guy that I'm playing with. And we formed a band, and that band had a few members come in and out, and then Bill was one of them as a lead guitar player. And then that yeah. kind of fell through, and then Bill picked us all up and said, hey guys, we're, we're going to keep this band a band. I am you. I know for me that was one of the early things that kind of drew me to writing and singing with these ladies is that, you know, I knew we came from that same kind of musical family background. And uh, so, yeah, definitely number one influence for me would be my, my family, my grandma. <laughs> yeah, Molly and I grew up uh, singing three-part harmonies on road trips with our mom. Uh, Star-Spangled Banner every time we saw an American flag. We definitely started with a more rootsy and folk, bluegrass even, based sound um, and moved quickly into whatever else we felt like. Yeah, the swing stuff was, was definitely present early on, you know, western swing influences. Um, it's funny, like, once we started adding more of that instrumentation, adding, you know, uh, violin and horns and, and kind of fleshing out those arrangements, how some of the influences were obviously there. Like, we, I, I don't know, I, I noticed as I was starting to write new music for our last album, Minor Sunshine, um, it, it's almost like those arrangements were there before, uh, you know, we, we put them down. You, know, you write a song and you, and you kind of have those little things in the back of your head. Like, Wouldn't it be cool if there was like a, you know, a, a trombone slide right there, you know, into a note. And, and when you actually start, you know, fleshing it out and hearing it, it's, it's, I don't know, it's a magical thing. Well, we've been here uh, working at Blue Sprocket. We, we worked on our last album here, and recently we've been in here working on a new EP, I guess. It's gonna, it's six songs um, that we've uh, been working on, two of which we did like a year or so ago that we, we actually put down, and then the last four that we've been working on we've done here in the past month and a half. And uh, it's a few songs that are ones we've been playing in our set for you know a couple years, and a couple of brand new songs that we're really really stoked about. We don't want to fit in the box. We don't want to. We don't want to sound like one thing every time, that, and or every other song. I mean, one of the things that I, you know, my favorite bands are the ones that I go to a show and I'm like, I just saw them play. You know, this style of music and this style of music and this style of music all in one night. And it's like that way it's in like, you know, multiple bands that way. So. The Factory Antique Mall, now the largest antique mall in America, with 121,000 square feet of antiques and collectibles and over 200 dealers. A true shopping destination located off exit 227 on I-81 in Verona. FactoryAntiqueMall.com.